It's time for a character design. It's really gonna shine and make your... That's where the song ends. That's all I got. I don't have a fourth rhyme. G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza, I'm Jazza and today I'm doing a character design session which was recorded live on Twitch and is here for you to enjoy but if you want to join future streams make sure to click the link on the screen and in the description and in the streams I collect suggestions from my Twitch chat, they vote, we end up with the character and I make it and that's how it works. But with the magic of editing you guys can see the final result of the suggestions in 3, 2, 1! The result of our voting is we're going to be drawing a mermaid who is a... <gasps> Celestial, that's weird and cool. I was gonna end the polling there, but I'm gonna do one more. Am I gonna be doing a mermaid or a merman? Merman. <coughs> merman. The reason I ask and I'm doing a final poll is because the last few character design sessions have been female and I thought it could be fun to flip it on its head and do like a trident style, you know, epic celestial merman. But at the same time, you know, mermaid is the cliche and is, you know, the female thing. So either way, I'd be happy with, but I just thought it might be interesting to at least leave it up to Twitch to decide. It's a tie. Guess I'm doing both. You guys ask too much of me. Today, I'm gonna to be drawing a celestial mer couple. Mer man and mer lady. Celestial mers. Without further ado, let's design a character. The first two phases of the character design process are discover and design. The discovery phase, I looked up different references of both mermaids and aliens. Reason being, I thought it would be useful to use some cliches from the mermaid look, but use some features that were common in depictions of aliens such as eyes being further apart, smooth bald heads and slightly off coloured skin with slender bodies. The second phase is what you're looking at which is essentially where I take all of those ideas and play around with them and see what works visually. I try and avoid assuming that there's a right or wrong way of going about the design and just play with it on paper and see what works. So as the result of my early experimentation this is what I'm left with and I'm happy with the development of where it's going and I've learnt a few things about the direction I want to take this in. It's tricky because there are stereotypes that fit with mermaids and mermen like the flowing hair, uh, particularly with the males there is this Poseidon-esque look of um, being quite muscular and broad and with a big beard but I'm actually trying to break away from that and hit this celestial tone which I think works well when there's a little bit more of a slender look and also a little bit of an alien looking uh, structure about the face. So eyes a little further apart and towards the back, heads without hair, even for the females I think that slightly um, alien-esque look I, I think seems to be working well but then bringing it back to the mermaid thing with the crowns and fins and things like that. Also a celestial Celestial look is wings, but obviously that doesn't work as well with the underwater theme, but I'm wondering if like sort of webbed things coming out of the back works and I feel like it sort of does almost in a seahorse-esque uh, sort of way. So I think I actually might uh, try having them, but not anything too obnoxious, not anything as big as actual wings on an angel or something like that. But something to allude to that celestial aspect. But really I want to focus on the the physiques, the uh, alien features of a face, and then bringing everything back to the mermaid style. But I think the way everything's going to tie in with each other is going to come in through colour. So I'm going to actually use sort of green and blue uh, skin colours and then highlight the features with golds and whites uh, to have that really royal look. So now that I've created a whole bunch of different designs in the second stage of the design process, I'm going to move on to the third stage of the design process, which is develop, which is where I take all the things I like most about this and develop it into some more refined imagery uh, and see what I want to move forward with from there until we get to our final stage, which is producing the final polished image. Now it's time to take all of the favorite elements that I produced in the design phase and further develop them into a few character concepts. I've decided to go with pretty slender bodies for both the male and female, with generally bare bodies but with features and with props uh, and elements of costume that aesthetically work well together. Generally keeping to themes of things being somewhat spiky, golden and also using a little bit of a webbed look that I carry throughout the design both in their hands, their wings and in their crowns. 
he's got this weapon and she's going to be wielding magic. And I feel like having them look powerful is going to be important. I should probably put something on her boobs. I'll give her some sort of golden bra thing. And, uh, and I think they can have some ornate trinketry, like some golden bracelets. But I'm happy with this as the final direction, so I'm going to jump forward into creating a final piece of concept art. Last but not least, in the final phase of the design process, I deliver a final concept image of the characters that I've created. Starting off with really rough silhouettes and shapes so I can refine and make alterations to the body and pose quite easily, I take much more time producing these images, really slowly sketching out the features and lightly blocking them out as I slowly add and solidify the detail to the characters. Slowly but surely, I solidify the anatomy and then features such as clothing and details in the face and bodies. Then it's time to move on to line work, I used a point one throughout the piece to keep things pretty fine and clean, which I think helps aid a rather elegant look, but I also kept use of detail to a minimum so that anatomy wasn't overbearing and it was much more elegant. Then I started to play around with colours. Originally I thought I would use green and blue for the skins and the uh, mermaid tails, but in the end, after a bit of experimentation, I decided that purple would be more of an attractive mix with the blue, keeping the design looking more ethereal and celestial, the green being a little little too natural and cliche as far as the mermaid designs go. I thought the purple would help break away from that and also really emphasise the difference between these characters and normal mermaids. Slowly but surely, laying down tone after tone, I start off with my light tones, then add my mids and darks, leaving space for where light will play around later. So for example, on the torso of the female mermaid, there will be light reflecting quite strongly because she's conjuring up some green magic, which I'll have reflecting on her skin. I repeat the process through the rest of the body, layering down the lights, mediums, then darks, and then add some highlights in some different colors, such as greens in the gems and eyes. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, this is the result. These are my celestial mermaids, or a merman and a mer lady. Everyone in chat is asking me to shade the nipples. I think it's only fair. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go in here and add a little bit of a, little bit of a touch up. The nips are shaded. This is another one of those experiences where this is not something I would naturally just think of and draw. Like I tend to not be fond of drawing mermaids, but at the same time, like challenging myself and trying something different, bit random, bit of a mix, ends up with something that I can really sink my teeth into and challenge myself in different ways and ends up with a result I never would have gotten otherwise that I'm really happy with. Again, link is on the screen and in the description if you want to join future streams. I'm going to throw in a shameless plug. My new book, Draw With Jazza, Creating Characters, has just been released. I don't want to spend too much time with the plug. You know what I'm going to say. It's a book I made, put a lot of effort into it. I love it and it's I'm really proud of it and it's all about this. It's all about character design. So yeah, I'm, I'm super happy with how it turned out. This design process that I went through, the four steps of the design process, is the entire theme of the book. There are chapters for each of these. There's stage one, discover, which is the research and preparation phase. Then we have stage two, design, which is where you start to play around with things and uh, essentially brainstorm, sketch your way through early design ideas. And in this chapter, I also give tips on traits and uh, character types. Then the next section is develop, which is where we further refine our ideas, experiment with things like color, genre, settings, character archetypes, and so on and so forth. Forth. And then the last stage is deliver, which is where you put it all together in one final presentation package. And this is the result of my stage four. This is the delivery of the final concept piece of my mermaid and merman. So go ahead and challenge yourself, create your own character design ideas, be they random or predictable, and just have fun. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't, like and share the video if you liked it. And until next time, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for new content every week. If you want to support my work and get some goodies for yourself, head over to my store for archives, ebooks, digital brushes, video courses, and more. If you enjoyed this video, here's a link to another video you might like from this channel. And if you want even more, make sure to check out all my behind the scenes action on my vlog channel, Daily Jazza. Draw with Jazza is proudly sponsored by Adobe. Join the creative cloud today and get loads of incredible creative tools like Photoshop, Animate, Premiere Pro, and other apps for your computer or mobile device. That's it for now. Thanks for joining the arty party and until next time, I'll see you later.